Hi everybody, it's David Fleming here from the Toronto Realty Blog, and I'm standing at the corner of Dundas and Jarvis with two questions I think kind of go hand in hand. Number one, is there a major intersection in downtown Toronto right now with as much development as this one? And number two, how long does it take for an area to gentrify? Can it happen overnight? This right here, guys, this is Great Golf Homes' this Pace Condominium. This is, I believe, a 42-story building, just finished or about to register, with just under 300 units in it. And interestingly enough, the largest unit is 899 square feet, which tells you, of course, they weren't exactly building for users. They were looking for people to buy and construction. Now, across the street here, you can see this one's coming down right now. This, up until last week, was a Fairmont, or sorry, a Hilton, I believe. This is going to be Dundas Square Garden. 47 stories, 978 units. And then across the street, the Tim Hortons I always used to stop at when I would get on the DVP, because it's down that way. This just closed, I think two weeks ago. They're tearing down the whole city block, and that is going to be the grid. 52 stories, 528 units. So between these two buildings here, you've got 1,600 new condos being built. And to be perfectly honest, guys, this is not a great area. I actually, I'm filming my second take right now because during my first take two crazy people actually chased me and I ran across the street no word of a lie they were yelling stop filming me stop filming me and I didn't want to tell them I wasn't filming them anyway topic for another day my wife is a social worker she knows how many shelters are around the corner she tells me it's not a good area not too far from here you might have heard about the guy that ran over someone else chased him down in his car and killed him that was on George Street, not the George where I live, but the George north of the park and just over there around the corner from us. So no, it's not a great area, but like so many other areas of the city, look, it's gentrifying. And over here, you're taking down an entire block. Your check cashing places, your little hangouts where, you know, the folks that you don't like staring at usually hang out and now they will not be. So my question, guys, is, you know, do you think that this is gonna work? Do you think, I mean, look, there's a lot of low-income housing around here, and, you know, people have to live somewhere. That's the reality. But do you think that these are going to sell? Are they going to sell well? And will the prices be in line with the rest of the market? That's what these folks that bought here are wondering. And frankly, with 1,600 units coming to this intersection within the next two years, I am really wondering as well.